At the end of your life, what will be your legacy? What will you leave behind for future generations? For the world, join the world messenger, Isabella Lundberg, each week as she brings you a new distinguished guest from the business, sports, or entertainment world to share their success, their struggles, and their lessons. They will share their insights into current hot topics that affect everyone. Isabella facilitates an intimate, vulnerable environment to find the true value of humanity and real leadership. Are you ready for your legacy? The legacy that matters? Hello, hello, my beautiful friends. It's Isabella here, the world messenger, and I'm inviting you for another epic legacy leader show. You'll be surprised who I am having here today, and I cannot wait to my guest to share his story and amazing things he's doing. Um, his slogan is be more amazing, which absolutely every single one of us can be. He is chairman and CEO of Moody um, Capital Partners. He, he is also a fantastic, obviously, author and book writer. And the books that I'm having here are just a treat. I cannot wait to share more about it. He's a keynote speaker, author, obviously, but he is also an investor. And I'm sure you guys will be very, very curious to figure it out what he is investing in and what he cares these days about. So let's welcome Jermaine Moody with Moody Capital Partners. Jermaine, I love hey. you. <laughs> You're the first Jermaine and only Jermaine that I know. And I love really? you. Yeah, and I love your name. So thank you. Thank you. I'm You're here for the transplant. We don't have the Germains in Europe. And uh, <laughs> and, and it just feels like suits you so so well. <laughs> you got the first Jermaine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me on the show. I'm so I'm so proud of you. And I just I, I love what you're doing. I really do. Thank you so much, Lidard. And I'm, I love what you're doing. And I cannot wait for people to really get to know you from different lands. Uh, obviously, in legacy yeah. leadership, people that are already living their legacy, that are already inspiring and inspiring others to do the same. Uh, yeah. that they're on an amazing trajectory, that they're seeking to do more. And you are the one of those the great creatives, uh, but also brilliant thinking minds. And I just okay. wanted for everybody to get the treats, to get to know you better and see what they can learn from All you, right. not All only right. today, but in the future. So Jermaine, <laughs> before we get this party started, uh, obviously you, you grew up uh, in Atlanta and Atlanta area. Is that where you're originally from? Actually, I'm, I'm originally from South Georgia, a city mm -hmm. called Al Albany, Georgia. But I, I started doing um, a lot of my uh, entrepreneurial work in Atlanta. And also I moved to Seattle. So I've been in between Seattle and Atlanta for a great deal of my life. Wow, Seattle yeah, both is both. such a huge different geographic region. Uh, exactly. The dynamics, the different types of people. Everything. 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 So, and, and you navigate such a distinct two cultures so very well. That yeah. is art on itself, on its own. Exactly. We know what's happening in Seattle. And for anybody else that don't know, like how many Fortune 500 are there, right? Exactly. And the beehive of tech and innovation and disruption. Exactly. Is that one of the reasons you moved to Seattle exactly that, because of that? That, that is exactly one of the reasons. And I learned so much, so much over there. So so many of the, uh, like, like you said, Fortune 500 companies, it's like that spirit of Fortune 500, that billion dollar corporation spirit just like fell on me while I was there. So I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to live over there. That is fantastic. And we'll depict very quickly how this became and what that also created and what helped you to create this amazing book and an additional one that I'm seeing here that I want to, first of all, thank you for sending it to me. I love oh, something wow. that I, everybody can learn. Five yes. millionaires and billionaires and the rules for networking. I mean, that is amazing that the five rules, guys, it's very easy, quick read. But let me tell you, it was eye opening and eyebrow raising for me. So if I went through that, you sure <laughs> will, too, because we'll depict that in a second. But Jermaine, um, yeah. obviously being in Georgia for a lot of people around the world that never been all the Southern states and everything else, they mm -hmm. know a lot of historic things that happened hundreds some years ago. How right. is the life between now uh, in Georgia between uh, obviously, and, and then also how is the life in Atlanta beside these amazing film studios and a lot of I movement know. in that direction? 
things have changed dramatically. Things have changed. There, there's, of course, way more opportunity. And, and Atlanta has, has become a melting pot. Like people from LA, New York, London, Australia, everybody is trying to come to Atlanta right now. And, and it, it's almost like a, a little New York, but Atlanta's got its own thing now. So I can't really use the word little anymore. Yeah. But um, growing up in Georgia, I, 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 had some, I had great benefits and I also had some disadvantages because I wasn't exposed to a lot of stuff. And um, mo moving to Atlanta allowed me to be exposed to different people. I was, I was raised in South Georgia. We call this, it's, it's pretty much, it was a really small country-like town, but um, going to Atlanta, which is two and a half hours away, I learned so much and I began to expand. That's actually how I met um, my um, previous biz business partners in Seattle that I ended up uh, working with and moved me to Seattle. So it's changed dramatically that the people, just a variety of people, and there's, incredible opportunity here now that is fantastic and it's so beautiful to recognize that right when you yeah. when you're young when you're growing when you're also expanding your business but also trying to figure out where you want to play i mean to be part yeah. of the capital partners to be able to have investments and invest in and in yeah. projects i mean uh, and and get to that and still be so young like yourself obviously <laughs> must be doing many things right i could tell you what i've I failed enough to know what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That. Yes, yes, yes. And so and that, that definitely helped me uh, make better decisions in what I pursue now. You know what I mean? Yes, that is such a great lesson. And, and for everyone yeah. watching and listening, failure is the step in stone to success. But as you said, failing enough, knowing what doesn't work, and then adjusting and learning from it, and not yeah. consistently continue to repeat it, huge right. game changer, right? Right, absolutely. You, you gotta, you gotta, you know, failure is actually a good thing because you, you learn. You, you can't, we don't come into life knowing anything. So you have to learn by doing and learn by processes. And it's what you take from it and how you use it for the future. The, the only, I, I, I think I, one of my sayings was, there's really no such thing as failure unless you give up, unless you stop. Once you stop, you fail. If you keep going, there's no failure. You're figuring out, you're navigating, and, and then you find exactly. new ways or better ways with changing factors or circumstances. Right. And COVID for sure definitely put a oh lot God. of uh, oh ringer of so many of us, and we all had to figure it out in different ways, right? For what we initially, or different level of speed, or different level oh, of how, how to pivot, how to, yeah, you gotta, I, I definitely had to pivot because, you know, I, I run an, an event company and we were producing networking events all over the world. And when COVID hit, it was like no more events at all. Everything just stopped completely. And that I had to pivot. <laughs> That is exciting. And events are coming back. And it's great for me to know yes. that you are doing that because go figure, we have some amazing events coming up and we're looking for great company to help us with. So see how yeah. what guys happens when you show up, when you build your okay. network, yeah. reach out yeah. to people. And when you also uh, go for people that you uh, associated with, that you like, resonate, right? And then find right. common goal, magic happens. That's what it's so, all about. Yes. And not to put you on the spot, but I'm curious because right now everybody's also looking, of course, to, as you said, pivot to continue to grow, to figure out either which company or culture they fit in from an right. employee standpoint, an employee standpoint, or partnership uh, from entrepreneurial standpoint. And and, yeah. and, and where, where is the mojo? Who is walking the talk, right? Right, and right. Speaking of that, these five rules of millionaires and billionaires. So um, do you mind sharing a little bit about that first? Because a lot of times, obviously, I deal a lot with C-suite. I deal with executives. I deal with the founders. I deal with prominent mm -hmm. people. Uh, for, but the, all of them have an issue just some of those issues just never get to be shed in the light maybe as, as right. some others but the reality is like what would you recommend with these five rules for people that really first of all want to understand psychology and their way of thinking Absolutely. what they should do to strengthen up those relationships you know I, I found that and I actually I, I wrote that book strictly from my experience strictly from what I believe um, initiated different millionaires and billionaires from all over the world to reach out to me. 
And I found that they were attracted to people who embody leadership, mm-hmm. actually any type of leadership, because that's, that's what the, great, the, the, the vast majority of them are leaders. And people want to be surrounded by like-minded um, people. So leadership was the number one thing that I honestly believe attracted the millionaires and billionaires to me. If you are a leader, it doesn't matter in what, what industry or what, what form of leader. It's, that, it's the characteristics and the attributes of leadership that really attract other leaders to you. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter where you're from. It's just the, that spirit of leadership. So my, my, my greatest advice as far as attracting the people that successful people, wealthier people, people who are doing things out there is to find out what you're great at and be a leader at it. And you really become uh, magnetic to other leaders around the world. That is so powerful. And that is so beautiful. Yeah. And I agree it's right real. now, it doesn't matter how much money you have, doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter. The title of position you do, but if you show up as the best version of yourself, as I said, and it's not only just the show up, but to be the greatest version of yourself. The greatest, I, love, yeah. I love that because, <laughs> uh, he, you know, because why would you settle for mediocrity, right? Don't settle ever. That's the worst that, you know, that's the most dangerous thing you could ever do in your life. It's to settle, you I know, and no it's, it's so dangerous. It's so dangerous. And, and, and what is interesting is also what we see, uh, Jermaine, is why people do it, right? Lack of right. self-esteem or lack of understanding that they're, what the A game looks like. If you've never been right. exposed to it, and if you never recognize, if you don't have people to point it out in the right direction, you're going to miss out. So guys, I just wanted to recommend to check this little book that has a very quick option about steps and definitely these top five rules that are really, really awesome. Uh, we don't want to get you. all the key points out here because <laughs> that's the reason why he wrote it to begin with and the book it's available on amazon but before we it go is. into another book and things like being busy and getting out obviously you continue also to look at through your lens where to invest what's yes. what's happening right now and then right. who to partner with so do you mind sharing whatever you can <laughs> with okay. um, understand it's your business, but what, what lens is like, what are you looking right now? What do you see now with the conversations with the leaders, where, where things are going and where are you finding the sweet spot to play with and where others can also open their creativity and opportunity to do the same. Right. Um, right now I am, I mean, from just this, it, out of this world experience with COVID, and having to shut down my event company, I realized I need to invest in pandemic-free businesses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what I mean by that is things that will not shut down when the next pandemic happens. Because everybody's saying something, something's definitely going to happen again. So I've, I'm focusing mostly on online businesses. Um, if, I feel like if you don't really have a presence online, it's going to be really difficult to survive another pandemic if you're strictly in person, because we never know what's going to happen. So I'm focusing on online businesses, of course, real estate, you can never go wrong with that. But online businesses, um, delivery services, stuff like that, that will will and can survive in a situation if we have something else similar to what we're going through now. That is very, very powerful. And again, yeah. everybody, if you did not pivot online, if you don't figure it out how you can work and do some things remotely, if you st- still so have plans, go for it. Uh, even us that are being involved, we're still figuring out certain things. It's always new things to learn. Uh, but, yeah. but the bottom line is uh, leadership is visible and can be visible Absolutely. more than ever. Right now with the Legacy Leader Show, with the, with the lives, with the writings, with the uh, interaction, visibility comes in all different shapes and forms yes, to what it all yes. means, right? Yes, yes. I mean, the, the world, is, if, you, if you have a, a smartphone, the world is in the palm of your hand. You know, the world is in the palm of your hand. And the best way for, well, what people don't understand is um, when it comes to millionaires and billionaires and other successful people, we're constantly looking for people to connect with. We love this stuff. We love people similar to us. So we're, we're, we're on, you may not see them visibly all the time online, but they're online networking. They're online connecting and discussing things. So if you have a smartphone, 
that's your key to be seen anywhere in the world at any time. And I, I think a lot of people aren't really utilizing this era of technology, which is completely phenomenal. I, I started my, my net, networking events through LinkedIn like 10 years ago. I didn't know anybody around the world, but we, I put together a world tour on my phone and didn't spend one dime to travel the world. It's craziness what you can do right now. You really got to take advantage of this era of technology. I think it's open to anybody who wants to be a part of it. And sometimes I love that not only what's accessible, but that creativity, that idea and yeah, how people yeah. differentiate. And if you're not sure, then you always have opportunity to ask people who already been there, done that. Ask people, yes. Through mentorship, you you, you can, I mean you can you just gotta take you just gotta take the chance. The the worst thing could happen is somebody will say no. But if you send it to one thousand people, you're gonna get a yes sooner or later. Send it to everybody until you get a yes. <laughs> I love that because very quickly, like I, one of the fears, obviously, one of the things as adults that were so scarred just based on how we're conditioned and educated is that mm -hmm. fear of rejection. And that is yeah. one, actually number one fear. Like people are really having a hard time they're very being rejected because they're taking that so personally and they right. really putting themselves down and it's easy to shatter their ambition and goal and then all yes. of a sudden you have a very poor language and self-esteem and then you lose yeah. the courage i mean i see this all the time and i'm seriously saying this this is not just the cliche but is the reality by so many people so it what is, would you say good. to overcome that obviously for someone who is fairly young yet accomplished mm -hmm. uh obviously you have to do with some share of that yourself well you know i i look at it like this well, first of all, you got to realize you only have you only have one life, and I, I just I, I just like to cut straight to the chase. You only have one life. You don't know how much time you have here. You don't you don't know how much time you have left. That's why I tell people go for everything. Don't be afraid because I, the the way I was encouraged and inspired to go for what I'm going doing now is by studying the lives of other people that I wanted to emulate. And realizing they had to step out, they had to push through that fear. I've been the shyest person all my life. And somehow, once I started networking and connecting with people who were doing these amazing things and writing books and doing that, actually, I, I started just about everything I'm doing from talking to someone who was already doing it, from uh, doing the networking events. I was inspired by Lewis Howe to do that. I did a phone call with him, and he gave me the greatest advice. The author, um, being writing all the books, I started talking to different authors. So to get rid of that fear, I would say try to find someone that is doing what you want to do, and try to get to know them, and you're going to be inspired and encouraged. Just do that. That is so powerful. Like having the courage to ask, right? Yeah. But also having proper presence and proper etiquette and the way. Yeah, for sure. It's a combination sure. of things. It's not just the uh, having confidence and, and going after, but also knowing how, right? Knowing and then how. at the same time, uh, being gracious, being grateful, uh, grateful having the yes, right absolutely. attitude, being there you go. Being flexible, right? Flexibility. Okay, Louis, the, the Thursday doesn't work that I had envisioned, but your uh, next Wednesday at 11 at night will work perfectly if that's what they have. When Whatever they is available. Free, you're going <laughs> to jump on it, right? Right. It just, yeah, when if, it, if they need me to fly here, fly there, I'm there. It's like when, when you want to get ahead in life when you want to get to the top you have to realize when people on these levels work really really hard and time is like completely limited so you want to get in and you want you want to get in where you fit in and you want to be diligent you want to be grateful a lot of people have these incredible egos right now that is really keep keeping them from being successful keeping them from going to the next level and you, you really can't be that way because one thing I've learned by um, doing what I'm doing and becoming more successful and being surrounded by other successful people, a lot of them are really great, nice people. And if you come in with an attitude, we're going to like shut you out instantly. That is so true. And, and sometimes when people, and, and, and just wanted to share something, and this is mm -hmm. really lessons that I learned. And then I've seen uh, through you and your conversation, 
people will not necessarily tell you what are you doing that you're doing wrong. They're not there to babysit you, right? Yeah, that's uh, right. And if you're not reading the room, if you're not queuing properly, and you're going to miss on the biggest lessons of your life. The biggest, and, yeah. And, and then you will wonder why did not go forward or why did not go in the right direction. Yeah. And speaking yeah. of that, obviously now we have a 40 <laughs> laws, honestly, guys, yes. 40 of them uh, yeah. of the networking, how to network correctly. I mean, he put yeah. it together and he gave us the keys for creating global influence, wealth and power. So ultimately every single one have the key for that. And this right book really gives you not only one, but they give you the 40 laws. So with that in mind, obviously you're a master networker. You're a person yeah. who can step up your game depending. And in reality, truly is a conversation that much different between millions and billions. I always mm. joke around it's more zeros. Of course, it's more responsibility, but ultimately mm. you're dealing with high performing humans but they're still humans yeah. right still human still human absolutely yeah i mean the the thing the thing about about that book is it, it doesn't matter if you're in you could be in middle school or you can be in, in you know over 80 or 90 years old you can still learn at wh whatever age you're at and what that book is really all about is more about communicating it's teaching you how to communicate is teaching you the more more of the psychology of how people operate, how to get their attention, how to get a response from them. Because I think a, a lot of people who want to be successful and want to do this and that, they they lack the proper communication skills to connect to the right people. Now you don't always need to connect with certain individuals to be successful. You can build your own multi-million, multi-billion dollar company, but it's faster if you are networked in the right circles. So that the reason I wrote that book is to help propel people and expedite their success. And I love that. And also it's been featuring contributors from 130 countries. And what's so beautiful about that, it gives the perspective so that we cannot say, oh, of course it's a nuance culturally how Americans are in general. Yes, versus Brits versus whatever. Mm -hmm. But ultimately we are taking away all those stereotypes and looking what yes. is the network in this day and age in globalization yes. where we're having these multipots, where we're having these exclusions yep. of different cultures all coming together with all the together. same goal and purpose that everybody wants to be accepted as who they are, right? They want right. to be included and have opportunity to be able to self-sustain and contribute and make a difference, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we, we are a, a global world, a global economy. Everybody's connected now. Like 20 years ago, we couldn't do any of this. But if you look at the generation, our, our generations now, that's why you have like the TikTok and all these other major companies. And you have people who have friends all over the world now. It's just, like I said, the world is in the palm of your hand. You have to take advantage of right now. It is so amazing to be alive right now. It really is. I love that. And my question is, if you don't mind, just for audience, what one of those laws of networking from these 40 or one of your favorites, which law you find that would be the most pivotal? I mean, all of them are interconnected. Yeah. Honestly, when you start reading, it's like, oh my goodness, you can't have this without that. But also if you have that, you're lacking this. It's like, you don't want to be like a Swiss cheese with the huge holes in it, right? Right. right. <laughs> so tell I'll us from your perspective, which one was the most pivotal for your growth? You know what? That would be law number one Ooh. to master words. Ooh. Because if you become a master of words, you become a master of people. If you look at um, all the greats of, of our time, uh, several, they've all mastered words. A lot of times we use the wrong words. Even that words start arguments. Words are actually in more places on, on the planet than human beings. So words are actually the most powerful things on this planet. If you could fall in love with words and master words, know what word to use, when to use them, when not to use this or that word, it's going to change your entire life. That's what enabled me to do what I'm doing right now, how I responded to people, even, even in your posts on social media. It's all about the words. If you master words, you're going to master everything else. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> you just 
downloaded major two components <laughs> at least. One is the words that mostly the, uh, disseminated around the world. I, I immediately yeah, start everywhere. signs, signs, and, and, and everywhere. All that. more than people. And we are yeah. almost close to 8 billion of people. So we have yeah. the words being in volume um, representing more than 8 billion people on the planet. That is insane. Yeah. And at the same time, it's just a great way to put in perspective, guys, and different languages right. and different symbols and different signs so. and different yeah. meaning, right? Uh, right? But mastering words and choice, choosing the word. I can't agree more with you because um, everybody that we surround ourselves, right? Not mm -hmm. only they're clear who they are and confident, not arrogant, but mm -hmm. at the same time, very intentional of choice absolutely and exactly pronunciation um, right how are they harsh are they arrogant because all right. of it comes from usage even if it's a right word but yeah. used with the wrong energy and wrong intention there you go there you go you lose it so you need to look at holistically right how you use right. it how you showing up and how you're yes. interacting right Right. Even in, you know, sometimes I get, a, I'm sure you get tons of e emails and requests on LinkedIn. I get a tons of emails, tons of uh, business pitches for funding, da, 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 da. and the words, that a, <laughs> the words that people use, they're going to turn, turn you on or turn you off instantly, you know, and a lot of the, some of the things, some of the words are just so, they're just the wrong uh, context, the wrong the wrong vibe, the wrong energy. True. That's that, exactly. that's that's when you do that's when you do not get a response from people because you use sometimes it's not the fact that you are asking for money or this or that. It's the words you use, or and it's, it's how you use them and when you use them. Jermaine, would you like to be part of the global solution that is going to prevent X, Y, and Z? I would love to tell you more if you're interested. Let's have a conversation lighter exactly. question giving you choice right. giving you option versus right. i am working on my documentary and i need this much in order to finish it how right. long it takes, you're, how, exactly. long it take, how long it takes for you to 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 transfer the funds <laughs> <laughs> this is so true send me two i need two million dollars by the 31st of the month if you want to be a part of it that's what that's what they'll say and I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could just send these people my book. I mean, it's just, that's the reason I wrote the book. A lot of times when I, when I get those messages, I tell people, I, I tell them what, they, what they're doing wrong. Like, this is not the way you approach, approach an investor. This is not the way you approach somebody who you're asking to be your mentor. You know, you don't send them a video saying, could you share my video and like my Instagram and like my TikTok? By the way, can you mentor me? <laughs> and you know what's so interesting? I understand that people have sense of urgency, but they need to understand that others do too. You and they also you cannot stuff. bypass to get on the stage 10 or step 10 without going through the first nine. I right. have people in messaging on LinkedIn that will tell me everything because now a lot of more characters. So they will tell me everything. I love to connect with you, but I also wanted this and I wanted that. And all of a sudden, the longest like, email. And, and like you like you could like have 15 requests in one with this insanity of urgency. And like we didn't even connect on the first first right. step on the most human like, reason. How are you doing? <laughs> How, exactly but even 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 though like do you even know what i do did you like you know did right. you liked any of my posts did you read my page exactly do you know what i'm all about and when you are expecting immediately the level of intimacy and somebody's going to do something for you that is the biggest mistake that so many are making i mean billions of people is it is really bad you know and i i think a, a, there there's certain things that um, when you look at the the, the top, the, the wealthiest people and the, uh, the leaders and, you know, the most successful people, there are certain things that they know. That's why the, N Napoleon Hill constantly said, um, is doing things a certain way, yes. you know, from, from, was it Think and Grow Rich? Um, that's, 
I think that's what he kept saying that over and over and over about doing things a certain way. That's the key to success. There's certain ways that you have to do things. It really is. It's finessing, it's polishing. And by all means, everybody watching and listening, we also started where you are. And oh, yeah. And still learning. We're, we're still and learning. Exactly. And all of us made certain mistakes. All of us thought by knowing certain data or information that might be a nice way to insert that or might be a nice way to go directly. Sometimes also we were told, you know, and, or trained or indoctrinated how should yeah. we approach it. There's so many different schools of thought. Yeah. But what I learned, and I don't know about you, when you are genuinely yourself, when you come oh, across yeah. as, as genuine, when you yeah. use the right types of words because they're right to you. To you, you know, yeah. You're not using the lingo just to appear more educated or smarter right. than your audience or intention of that right. executive or, or, or CEO you're trying to reach. Right. What message are you sending, right? You're sending, if you're doing right, as you said, and Napoleon Hill was obviously right because he's quoted how many decades and decades later, right? I know. And how many books have been rewrote, re uh, rewritten over and, and over. published and, 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 and spinned and with many different new stories to be yeah. relevant at the current times. And as mm -hmm. they say, that is evergreen, right? It's like yeah. never getting out of the style. And also, it's it's such a truth that is epic. That is part of it, no matter what. I agree. I totally agree. It's just you know you you, you really want to. I was I was doing a, another uh, interview with with a friend of mine in Denmark, and he asked me what was my secret, and I said, well, first I I had to discover who I was, and at the same time discover how greater I could be and then just present that to the world not try to be but who I really am and not not and not accept not accept who I was but who I could be and that's what I start presenting to the world this is who I want to be this is what I'm pursuing and that's what attracted people to me the real me it's so brilliant on so many yeah. levels and I love that you said that because everything always starts with us. But self-discovery yes. process, it's its a journey. It's a lot of transformation, a lot of pain, a lot of work. And if you're not working on it, you can't expect to have it. You can't get there by copying other no. people and trying to be someone. A lot of that. Not. A lot of pretending going on. It's a lot of, you know, I should say this, I should say that. No, you should grow. <laughs> You should learn. Now, just don't go messaging everybody tonight with, you know, whatever you think you should say, because it's just, you know, you need to get information on how to do it and then customize it from your personality. But you, I mean, you, you, you gotta, you can't, you can't like just go out there and expect all these things to happen overnight or even in a year or two, we got this crazy expectation. Let me start a business. And then it doesn't work out. No, you don't make any money eight months and you just forget about it. I'm like, no, you got to learn the process. You got to have persistence. You really got to, a, a guy um, contacted me yesterday. He wanted advice on real estate and investing. And he said, what should I do? I gave him like three books to buy. I was like, you need to gain information. You need to know what you're getting into first. Don't buy anything. You got to take time and, and teach yourself and, and learn exactly what you need to know. Yeah, because people want to bypass, they're in rush, they want to integrate they're in a hurry. A certain, certain outcome right away. And that being in rush can be so costly, so devastating, but also can really affect you to the point that then you will be not able to do anything else. And they can also not only emotionally scar you, but financially ruin you, right? Completely. And, and that is great advice. Because yeah. we all have to put the work. If we're not willing to do that, what's the point? With that in mind, Jermaine, you are obviously did so many amazing things. Obviously, with books being published, with a lot of great uh, support to um, charities, being an investor, being also involved in uh, different yeah. um, 
aspects of the like being founder of the shop atlanta network for example you know that that's what we're you, starting you now involved in your own community being very visible what's in your bucket list what is now going on in your world that you cannot wait to <clears throat> accomplish mm -hmm. well shop, shop, shop atlanta network is is fairly new we actually just started filming uh was it this week yeah this week we started <laughs> filming this week Congratulations. and, and uh, I'm, I'm is very similar to QVC and home shopping network but it's got that millennial vibe and we we're allowing people to film their own shows as well but um, I, I, I love entrepreneurs and I realize one of the main things that most small businesses are need assistance with is marketing they really need to know how to get their businesses in front of more customers and creative ways to do it and you know a lot of people who a lot of companies that have product you can't get on a qvc you can't get on a home shopping network because you don't have the, enough clout you don't know the right people you don't have enough revenue so shop atlanta network is going to give these people an opportunity to get in front of the world and to help them build their dreams and i'm so so excited about it wow so you have that strong entrepreneurial um dreams and and spirit yeah. and you know what it takes to run the business what it also takes yeah. to have a hardships but also what it creates success so that's right. beautiful because that is the best path to learn from people already been there done that and know how to repeat yeah. it know how to teach others to do because did you notice yeah. how many experts are there but nobody can duplicate and replicate their success mm. that is missing right yeah yeah absolutely absolutely <laughs> With that in mind, first of all, congratulations, such a timely and amazing solution for people that are also trying to recover that. because everything was shut down and now Everybody it's needs help. coming. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we need a little bit of that fresh blood, you know, and the fresh dynamics. <laughs> but I'm curious with someone who is so astute, who did so much work already. I'm mm -hmm. curious, what would you like your legacy to be? Uh, what would you like to uh, be known for? You know what? Um, when people ask me, what do I do for a living? I say, I'm in the business of making people greater. And that's what I want my legacy to be. Wow. That's what I want it to be. I, I, I want to be able to say, I, I have made a lot of lives better. I helped a lot of people. And of course, you know, the success comes with that. But I, I want to be the person in the room that helped everybody be greater. That's my legacy. That's what I want to be. Yeah, greatness yeah. is such a beautiful thing because all of us yeah. have room for more to tap yeah. into, to yeah. unleash it, to demonstrate it, to give it to others, but also yeah. the inclusivity. As you said, you want to help everybody in all communities yeah. and tap yeah. into the diversity. All over the world. Wow. That's you know what that's that's one of the reasons we we included the world in the 40 laws of networking. That's the second book that I included the world in. I realized. People want to be a part of something. And if you just know how to communicate and connect with them, they will join forces with you to help you build your dream. Mm. You just gotta, you just gotta connect with people. Everybody wants to be a part of something great. Yes. They just you just have to get in touch with them. Yes. Yeah. That is so very, very true. You need to know again how to select those words, how to approach them, yes, how to touch their hearts, how to yes. touch what they are looking for right and then the right. rest is the magic so back to the basics choice of the words the basic number one principle master word. Yeah, gotta master those words. laws and and the number one is master your words master the words so guys this was absolute treat on so many levels because uh our germain i love how eloquently and simplified ways the truth comes on every page, but also in everything you shared um, today, because why to complicate? Why to yeah. exaggerate and exaggerate things? Why to make them more complicated and complex? It's not complicated so that people at all, can right? Feel more valuable, or new, you can't get this absolutely on your own. I really have to be part of it. But when, when when we have reality that we can simplify it, simplify it, people key to the success they are looking for. Absolutely and that is right. true leadership. That is true leadership when leaders navigate not only billions of dollars, but hundreds and thousands of people around the world and distill these complexities in a way 
that even their six-year-old son or or neighbor's son or child yeah. can understand. It's can a understand. reason why we're coming back to that. Yes, so important. It's, it's, it's so important just communicating and, and building a real relationship with people. Um, that's, that's what it really all comes down to because the, the main thing that I've learned, especially through the pandemic, is that we're all here just trying to figure it out. Yeah. And so right now, I have no judgment towards anybody. If somebody's having a bad day, if somebody's being mean or somebody's going through this, or that, I was like, you know what? Just pray for them. They're just trying to figure We're all just trying to figure it out. They're no experts. We're all trying to figure it out every such day. Such a great attitude. Such a great attitude. And with that in mind, what would you like to leave to our audience today that is watching and listening to this episode of Legacy Leader Show? Uh, something tangible and actionable that really was pivotal for you to be where you're at today. You know, I, I would say just be persistent all mm -hmm. of your life. That. You know, they say there are a lot of things that are the key to success, but it really does come down to persistence. It really does. If you continue in your learning, you're going to make it. You just got to be persistent. It doesn't matter what you go through. I don't care if you lose your home, lose your family. You, you, you can sacrifice everything. But if you just keep going and you're learning from your mistakes, sooner or later, something's going to click. But you have to be persistent. In my opinion, that's the key to success. Persistence, continue to grow and use everything you learn. You may have to pivot, you may have to shift, you may have to turn, you may have to you know, tumble. It's persistence, that's what it is. Wow, persistency is powerful and, and you definitely are giving us some amazing uh, tool to move things forward. And I wanted to just to say, it was absolute delight to have you on today's show and opportunity Ooh, to learn so from you. So much fun joining and, you. You're such also, an amazing woman, Isabella. You have no idea how phenomenal you are. So um, on, behalf, on behalf of everybody watching and everybody that you interviewed, we thank you for being such a light, especially during this time. Thank you, for, thank you for sharing your life and your legacy with us. I'm honored. Thank you, sweetheart. Much appreciated. And it's such a great joy to have a people again that are big thinkers, that are visionary, and they wanted to pass the wisdom to others that they wanted to see. Because this book, it's not just for Jermaine to say, I'm out there looking me and then going to the book tours, but giving the value. And honestly, I have to say, featuring contribution from over 130 countries, having voices and thread of the knowledge that is relevant for whole entire globe. Oh, and we cannot oh, say anymore, but we don't necessarily will not work in my environment no excuses no excuses <laughs> game over right game this over. is a game changer game changer <laughs> huge game changer guys so please pick up this i totally endorse it i'm glad you. you sent it to me as the gift because i am going to be using and nothing like opportunity that you can perfect your craft yeah tell better sure. story network better, connect yeah, better, yeah. support other better, and on the end of the day, succeed better, right? Exactly. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to Legacy Leader Show. If you enjoyed the content and had a positive experience, then please leave us a positive rating. In addition, leave us positive review whenever you are listening on whatever platform there might be. Make sure your friends and family also know about the benefit and value that we provide and what we have to offer. Cheers.